If we take a listen to this dialog track. To check the I.O. in the BERT suite, go to Setup, I.O. Verify. You'll notice that there are some breaks in the room tone where the audio just drops out. We don't have handles on these clips to drag out and find more room tone and do crossfades. So we need to fill all these gaps with room tone, but we don't have room tone to use. We could go and we can grab these little clips of room tone that happen to happen throughout, and that'll help us in these sections here that are smaller. However, if we go down the line, you'll notice we have some really big sections where there's not enough room tone to paste in to fill the gaps. If we duplicate the clip, it'll sound loopy, so that's not going to work. One thing that can help us is the Isotope RX4 ambience match function. We can access Isotope RX4 from the Audio Suite menu or from the inserts on the tracks. However, ambience match is not available. Ambience match is only found in the RX4 application. If we go to the Applications folder, you'll see Isotope RX. This is an external application that has some additional functions that aren't available from within Pro Tools. This RX version is the advanced version that's only available in the BERT and Ernie suites. Even though you can't access these functions directly from Pro Tools, Isotope set it up so there is a way you can actually send audio to the external application and then send it back to Pro Tools. Before we do that, we need to set up an RX4 monitor track. Reason for that is in the BERT suite and the Ernie suite, audio to the speakers only comes through Pro Tools, so we need to set it up so we can hear the external application through Pro Tools. What we need to do is create a new mono auxiliary input. I'm going to name it RX monitor and in inserts I'm going to plug in noise reduction RX4 monitor. So what this does is allows the audio to be routed from the external application through this plugin to this tracking. Currently you'll see status disconnected. Once the application is opened up, it'll connect to the application. We also want to make sure that our RX monitor track is routed to the output for the speakers, which in this case right now is the stereo output. I'm going to close this. You don't need to keep it open but if you need to access it, you can always click on the insert. So here's our bit of room tone that we want to use to create a longer bit of room tone. So I'm going to make a selection and play it, making sure that there's no other noise in this but the room tone. I'll go to Audio Suite, Noise Reduction, RX4 Connect. Now this is the plugin that, act that will send this clip from Pro Tools to the RX application. Make sure this round trip is selected and click Send. You'll notice our RX application automatically opens up and our clip gets sent to the application. If I press play, you'll notice it is being routed back to the RX monitor track we created. If for some reason that's not happening, what you can do is click on this little wrench in the top right hand side and make sure driver type and output device are selected to RX monitor. If it didn't say that, that would be why it's not getting back to the track and make sure you set it to RX monitor. So we have our room tone. We're going to select the ambience match feature which will open this little window, and we're going to click the Learn button. What this does is it learns the room tone that was here, or ambience that was here, sends it to this window. If I preview it, you'll hear it's playing back the clip that we sent over. So now we're going to go back to Pro Tools, and I'm going to create a pretty long selection, something that we know is going to cover all our little gaps that we have. 
could be as long as you want or as short as you want. So now I have the selection on our room tone track where I'm not selecting any audio, I'm just selecting nothing. And I'm going to send that to RX. So I'll go back to the RX Connect plugin, click Send. That takes us back to the RX plugin. And if I press play, we don't hear anything. Why? Because there's nothing there. Our selection was empty. I'll go to the ambience match window where we loaded up our ambience. Before I click process, I'm going to show you this other function. Output ambience only checkbox can filter out any noise other than room tone. So it could be helpful if you only have a section of ambience or room tone that has some other noise in it. Uh, this is a pretty clean clip, so I don't need to select that. So I'm just going to click the process button. If I press play down here now, you'll notice it loaded that little clip of ambience across this entire selection that we created. Now all I need to do is click the send back button, which is at the top of this tab. It takes us back to Pro Tools, and if you look at the RX Connect plugin, you'll see press render to commit changes. Press render and notice our selection here will now have audio written to it. If I solo that and play it, you see we created a nice long chunk of room tone that we can use to plug all of these holes. So there are a lot of ways you can proceed with this. You can trim it into each selection. But there's a workflow that I use that's pretty streamlined. It's a way you can quickly fill these gaps. First, what you want to do is you want to cut this little section. So not copy it, but cut it. So Command X or Edit Cut will load that into the clipboard in Pro Tools. So now to fill these little gaps, I'll just zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to make a selection across the gap, crossing over into the adjacent clips. If you use the shortcut Option Command V, that paste to selection. So what it did is it just pasted that bit of room tone that I had in the clipboard into the selection. The next thing you can do is you can make a selection over the adjacent clips and that bit of room tone. And making sure that your A to Z for the command keyboard focus mode is selected, use the F key, which automatically creates fades. Go to setup for the clip. So I'll do that again. Make a selection. Option Command V. Then I'll make a selection covering that bit of room tone as well as the adjacent clips and press the F key. Setup IO. Let's go to one of the larger sections later on. Make a selection. Option Command V. Make a selection which covers the adjacent clips as well as the room tone. Press F. The tab. Output tab. So that's a way using Isotope's RX4 ambience match function where you can create room tone to fill gaps.